was a dark and stormy night in Fairy Tale Land. A night just perfect for witches. With Fairy Godmother in a clink, I began to wonder if we were ready for a world turned topsy turvy. Sweet witches, friendly wolves, wise wizards, and princesses with pig noses. It's a world gone mad. But somehow I think things will turn sunny side up. And we may get that happily ever after, after all, in fairy tale land. I was about to call it a day, because I had this over easy feeling come over me. Then she rolled in. She had the figure of a fortress and the countenance of a cobra. She was a god daughter, the witchiest woman west of Walla Walla. I was wondering if this was some kind of yuck. I had already cracked a case on the sleeping prince. Fair godmother was left with egg on her face. It seemed like the sleeping spell was only the Easter coloring on a much more rotten egg. She had bigger eggs to fry, and the corruption nearly tore Fairy Tale Land apart. Luckily, they had me to put it back together again. I could continue walking around eggshells around her like everyone else, so I could put all my eggs into one basket and say it straight. I knew she was in trouble. I told her so. I told her she was like one of them riddles that scrambles your brain, like which came first, the chicken or the egg? I told her to beat it unless she wanted to have a talk with all the king's horses and all the king's men. And then her eyes started tearing up. And I was speechless. I'd never seen this Kool-Aid crack before. Hey, I've got feelings. I'm a bit soft-boiled around them dames. And this day needed help. And help is what I do. Because I'm Humpty Dumpty. Private egg. Hard-boiled detective.